Good morning. Welcome to this service of Holy Communion and today we're going to remember Mary, Martha and Lazarus. We meet in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Together we pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. You give your kingdom to the poor in spirit. Lord, have mercy. You satisfy those who hunger for righteousness and justice. Christ, have mercy. You give joy and gladness to those who mourn. Lord, have mercy. The saints were faithful unto death and now dwell in the heavenly kingdom forever. As we celebrate their joy, let us bring to the Lord our sins and our weaknesses and ask for his mercy. Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have sinned against you and against our neighbor. In what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and marred your image in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us out from darkness to walk as children of light. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who in his great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with heartfelt repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon us, pardon and deliver us from all our sins, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And so the collect for this, the day of Mary, Martha and Lazarus. God our Father, whose son enjoyed the love of his friends, Mary, Martha and Lazarus, in learning hospitality, may we so rejoice in your love that the world may come to know the depths of your wisdom, the wonder of your compassion and your power to bring life out of death. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our friend and brother, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We have our first reading. A reading from the book of Ruth, chapter 2, beginning at verse 5. Boaz said to his servant who was in charge of the reapers, to whom does this young woman belong? The servant who was in charge of the reapers answered, she is the Moabite who came back with Naomi from the country of Moab. She said, please let me glean and gather among the sheaves among the reapers. So she came and she has been at, on her feet from early morning until now, without resting even for a moment. Then Boaz said to Ruth, Now listen, my daughter, do not go and glean in another field or leave this one, but keep close to my young women. Keep your eyes on the field that is being reaped and follow behind them. I have ordered the young men not to bother you. If you get thirsty, go to the vessels and drink from what the young men have drawn. And then 
she fell prostrate with her face to the ground and said to him, Why have I found favor in your sight that you should take notice of me when I am a foreigner? But Boaz answered her, All that you have done for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband has been fully told me, and how you left your father and mother and your native land and came to a people that you did not know before. May the Lord reward you for your deeds, and may you have a full reward from the Lord, the God of Israel, under whose wings you have now come to find refuge. This is the word of the Lord. Our psalm is taken from Psalm 36. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens, and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the strong mountains, your justice like the great deep. For you save both man and beast, O Lord. How priceless is your love, O God. Your people take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They feast upon the abundance of your house, and you give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the well of life, and in your light we see light. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you, and your favour to those who are true of heart. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Alleluia, alleluia. I have called you friends, says the Lord, for all that I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. Mary was the one who anointed the Lord with perfume and wiped his feet with her hair. Her brother Lazarus was ill. And so the sisters sent a message to Jesus, Lord, he whom you love is ill. But when Jesus heard it, he said, this illness does not lead to death. Rather, it is for God's glory, so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Accordingly, though, Jesus loved Mary and Martha and her brother Lazarus, and having heard that he was ill, he stayed two days longer in the place where he was. Then after he and his disciples were there, Jesus said again, let us go to Judea. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, some two miles away, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him while Mary stayed at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give it to you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said, I know that he will rise again at the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. When she had said this, she went back and called her sister Mary and told her privately, the teacher is here and is calling for you. And when she heard it, she got up quickly and went to him. Now Jesus had not yet come to the village, but was still at the place where Martha had met him. The Jews who were with her in the house consoling her saw me, Mary get up quickly and go out. They followed her because they thought that she was going to the tomb to weep there. When Mary came where Jesus was and saw him, she knelt at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. 
when Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who also came with her weeping, he was greatly disturbed in spirit and deeply moved. He said, where have you laid him? They said, Lord, come and see. And Jesus began to cry. So the Jews said, see how he loved him. But some of them said, could not he who opened the eyes of the blind have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus, again greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone was lying against it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, there is already a stench, because he has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. And Jesus looked upward and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I know that you always hear me, but I have said this for the sake of the crowd who is standing here, so that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and his feet bound with strips of cloth, and his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. So let us pray. Father, you gifted Martha, Mary, and their brother Lazarus with a special friendship, and you accepted their hospitality whenever you were in Bethany. Lord, may we also welcome in the least of our brothers and sisters into our hearts and our homes. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. You understood Martha's being busy about many things, and her plea that Mary should join her in serving. Lord, teach us to be our true selves and to be aware of the calling that you have placed within us. Lord, in your mercy. Mary sat at your feet and listening to your words, she opened her ears and her heart to listen to what you said. Jesus, open our ears and our hearts to listen deeply to the words that you share with us each day, both in scripture, in creation, and through others. Lord, in your mercy. Martha insisted that although you could have healed Lazarus before he died, God would listen to your every request. Lord, give us that same confidence and draw us into an ever-increasing awareness of your love and willingness to hear our prayers and requests. Lord Mary, Martha and Lazarus were known to be your special friends and like you were held in suspicion by the religious leaders of your day. Father, strengthen your church as we walk in friendship with you especially when we are persecuted. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, six days before your death, Martha served you supper and Mary anointed your feet with precious oil. May those who care for the sick, the injured and those near death be blessed with courage, stamina and a deep sense of your presence in those they serve. We pray, Lord, for Kim Brown and for Alison Brewster, who are unwell at this time. And we also remember the family and friends of Nora Lee, who has lost her brother, Len. Great Father, kindle in us both the generous hospitality of Martha and the contemplative spirit of Mary, whose feast we celebrate today so that as the abundance of summer's fields and gardens call us to be busy about many things, we will always sense your presence in the overwhelming beauty and mystery of creation, moving us to contemplative wonder, gratitude and praise, 
for your love is the power which creates, sustains and guides all things to freedom, flourishing us and giving us the fullness of life, now and forever. Amen. May the God of peace sanctify you. May he so strengthen your hearts in holiness that you may be blameless before him at the coming of our Lord Jesus and all his saints. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. We rejoice in the glorious splendour of your majesty, for you have given us a share with Mary, Martha and Lazarus, in the inheritance of the saints in light. In the darkness of this passing age, they proclaim the glory of your kingdom. Chosen as lights in the world, they surround our steps as we journey on towards the city of eternal light, where they sing the everlasting song of triumph. In communion with the angels and archangels and all who have served you on earth and worship you now in heaven, we raise our voices to proclaim your glory, forever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take, eat, for this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me.
In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember now his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. And as we look for the coming of his kingdom, we make with this bread and this cup the memorial of Christ your Son, our Lord. Accept through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit and nourish us with the body and blood of Christ, that we may grow into his likeness and become a living temple to your glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his Son. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. The power of the Lord Jesus strengthen you in his service, and the joy of the Lord Jesus fill your hearts, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you, and remain with you and those you love always. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Amen. <clears throat>